Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be talking about the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon and how to deploy it in DCS to destroy target. In short, it's referred to as the JSAW Joint Standoff Weapon. And it's basically a glide bomb. It doesn't have any rocket engines to propel it. It simply glides down to its target. The JSAW is a medium range precision guided weapon, especially for engagement of defended targets from outside the range of standard anti-aircraft defenses, thereby increasing aircraft survivability and minimizing friendly losses. As you can see in the picture here, the JSAW has wings and as I said, it basically glides down to its target. Uh, those wings are tucked and they are basically deployed the moment you release uh, this weapon. In DCS, we have the A and C variant simulated. Of course, you have more than the A and C variants in real life, but in DCS, we only have those two. A is basically, or variant A is a cluster bomb. It carries 145 sub munitions designed for defeating armored vehicles. The C variant is designed to attack hardened targets, and it carries a two stage 225 kilograms or a 500 pound warhead. And we will be demonstrating today how to deploy the C variant in PP mode or pre-planned mode. And to do that, we need the exact GPS coordinates of the target along with its altitude. We punch in those coordinates and altitude in, in, in the F-18 and then uh, we will basically uh, deploy them or, or basically release them to destroy the target. Let's go ahead and jump onto the mission editor to show you the mission planning. We are now in the mission editor and as you can see my Hornet is here to the left hand side of the map. I'm flying to the east towards my target here in red. Zooming in my target, uh, my targets are two tanks. The one to the left hand side of my flight path, I'm going to zoom in over there. And as you can see it's a tank. And if you look at the bottom left hand side corner, you'll see the exact coordinates and altitude of the tank. So in this case, it's here. As you can see, I'm going to hover the mouse over the tank. And if you look down, you'll see that the coordinates are north 42, 11, 43, 33, east 43, 26, 634, and the altitude is 29, 34 feet. These are the coordinates that I will punch in into the weapon system of the Hornet so that we can lock onto and destroy this tank. Same thing applies to the tank on the right hand side of my flight path. Again, hover the mouse over it. You'll see the precise coordinates and the altitude which I will use. Those are the coordinates that I will use to destroy the tank. Let's hop onto the, hop onto the Hornet and start configuring the aircraft. Uh, to destroy those targets. So I'm going to click on this and I'll click on start. Okay, so the first thing to do is I'm going to make sure that my master arm switch is set to arm. I'm going to click on air to ground mode and then I'm going to basically set my speed to around 350 and I will lock it there using automatic throttle control. And then I'll set my, I'll keep uh, my altitude at around 14,000 feet. I'll press AP for autopilot and then I'll click on barometric altimeter. So the, the plane is now flying at a steady altitude at a, at a fixed speed. What I'll do next is I'll click on the JSAW button here. I'll make sure that the mode is PP. We have two modes. TOO, target of opportunity, and PP, which is pre-planned mode. We're deploying the bombs in pre-planned mode. We'll talk about TOO later in a, in a later video. So um, I clicked on mode and I switched to PP. And if you cycle through the two uh, JSAWs, you'll see both are at PP. Then I'm going to click on E-Fuse and I will set it to instantaneous. Then I'll click on JSAW display 
and I'll click on quantity and I will select both JSOWs and I will click on return. Now I'm going to click on MSN or the mission button to configure the coordinates. Again, it's in PP mode. So what I'll do is I'll click on target UFC button. And as you can see, my display here has changed. I'm going to click on position to configure the position of the or, or or the target position. I'll click on latitude and then I will choose north 42 11 26 enter then 13 enter and then I'll click on longitude and I'll click on east and then I'll click on 43 26 04 enter 17 enter so I've configured the north and the east coordinates and then I'll click on target UFC again and then again and then I'll click on elevation I'll choose feet and I will configure elevation 39 